What's up guys and welcome back to Accident. So uh, man, the cases have been getting pretty crazy. They're getting more and more intense, but uh, we've kept a pretty good track record. So hopefully we can keep that up. We're gonna take a look at our next file here. We've got a cliffside accident in France. Looks like this uh, you know, brown goldish car careened off the cliff, landed upside down, probably collided with this red car. And we've got four victims here. So uh, we're gonna hop into it. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can get to the bottom of it. Hopefully we can learn something about it. And hopefully we can save some lives. Look at this, dude. Look at these beautiful mountains and valleys all over the place. I love little, you know, countryside roads like this. It's always so beautiful, but you gotta think. You truly are inches from death. You gotta you gotta make sure you're paying attention. Oh shoot, we've got a we've got another vehicle, a third vehicle off to the side there. You guys can see it looks like the car careened off here. We've got a car on fire. Okay, this is this is important. Where's our phone? Here, pick this up. We're gonna call emergency services, then we're gonna have to turn off the or turn on the hazard lights. Come on. Pick up, pick up, pick up. I wish you could do multiple things at once. I'm getting stressed just thinking about it. It looks like we've got two people already dead, so there's not gonna be a whole lot we're gonna be able to do. Okay, first up, we gotta put out that fire. Ooh, are we whipping the Porsche here? Okay, I like it. Let me grab this. Need to act quickly, prevent the car from falling and extinguish the flames. Okay, so we're gonna try to extinguish these flames to start things off. Are we gonna have to open the hood or anything? I'm trying to put it down into the engine bay, but I don't... She gone! <laughs> okay, so we gotta secure... We, we, we gotta secure the car first. <laughs> We're gonna pick up the phone. We're gonna call. Turn on the hazard lights. Let's get out of here. So we've gotta... We've gotta secure this vehicle somehow. Do we have a rope or anything? We've got extinguisher, triangle, and first aid kit. We're gonna have to, what do we do here? Pick up a stone, put it like underneath its wheel or something? Nope, let me open this up. Uh, ah, okay. I see you. So we're gonna put stones in the back of the car so that we can keep it there. All right, perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab, uh, let's just grab everything here, shoot. We probably, we, I, I don't need this. Put this back, put this back. I need the extinguisher. Here we go. Put this fire out. This is a serious concern. I don't know if we're probably standing on the hood isn't the best idea. I bet that'd be pretty hot. I don't know if we need to like open up the, the hood to be able to get it down in there. Come on, baby. Shoot, we're out. Okay. Open this up. Give me this fire extinguisher. Come on. I don't know if we're doing any good. I don't know if it's getting underneath the hood like this. Okay, that's taken care of. Perfect. Okay, now we want to turn off the ignition of the vehicles. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the ignition there. We're going to try to turn off the ignition here as well. This is awfully sketchy. Are we going to have to climb through the vehicle? Shoot. I don't know how you want me to get up there. I can't... I can't get up there. Okay, uh, maybe, maybe we deal with this one. That's the passenger door. Driver's door. Turn the ignition off. Okay, now we're gonna mark the location. So we're gonna want to grab this emergency triangle Let's run back here. Make sure we don't have any other people rolling up on us too hot Last thing we would want is to make this a four car collision. So we're gonna put that down. Dude, this is intense Throwing rocks into the back of a trunk. I wouldn't have thought of that if you want me to be completely honest I really wouldn't have so we're gonna grab the other Warning triangle from over here gonna be able to bring this to the other side of the road Go ahead and stop traffic from that direction. Perfect. All right. So we're to check in all the victims and mark our exact location. So I'm going to say let's let's just do the location first. Yeah, dude, we're ripping the, the Porsche here. This thing is dope. I like it. Got that nice spoiler on the, the back too. So we're going to check our location. Let's start her up. That German engineering baby. She's going to know exactly where we are. Perfect. Now... We're going to go check on our victims. So I would say... I mean, this... What in the world? Okay, I'm gonna shake by the shoulder. We're gonna open the airway. She's not gonna be breathing. There's no chance. Yeah, that's that's not good. Big wound to the stomach, bruise on the leg. Okay, so we've got that. Let me check on this guy here. We're gonna shake him. He's dude, they're, they're dead, 100%. He's got a broken neck. There's no point in even, even trying to listen. Dude, he's, he's done. 
Okay, so that's two out of four. Let me check on this chick right here. Let's go ahead and uh, shake the shoulder. Let's open up this airway and listen. She's breathing, that's good. That means she's not exactly a priority right now. Now this we have to be careful with. I mean, I guess we can, oh, he's conscious. Sir, can you hear me? All right, so we want to help the victims. Leave him be for now because he's petrified. Try to help the man get out of his car. It may, see, it may still fall any moment. So we're going to help him out. We're going to pull him out of there. Come on, baby. Okay. Now, if your car careens off the cliff, just don't worry about it. Wait for help to arrive. Please go wait in your vehicle. The helicopter is only a few minutes away. Seriously? That's all you want us to do? I'm going to get in. I'm just going to wait. I, I... I mean, the people in the upside down car are gone. Let's be honest. That chick's breathing, but I guess we have to put our hands up on the steering wheel, tin and two, and just wait for it. We got the med evac coming in here. Love to see that snappy response time. This game honestly just kind of makes me a little bit sick, if you want me to be, to be real. Like, yeah, it just... This stuff happens all over the place. This stuff happens in your neighborhood. Like, people die in car accidents all the time, and it, it just really puts it in perspective just how bad it is. Okay, so we've got five clues, and then we're going to have to put the, the evidence in the correct order. Gosh, dude, this... I, I just... I'm, I'm going to get a little, a little emotional here. So, we can go up, and we're going to try to see what happened up here at the top of the cliff. So, it looks like uh, that's to go down. Let me try to see. It looks like we've got... We've got some debris, we've got some skid marks. Guillaume loses control of the car. So it looks like, what is this, scratch marks? Yellow sedan drives over a large rock and blows a tire. No way. So he was coming down this cliff and it just seems like a normal day. You're just going for a normal afternoon drive. You get caught up with a big piece of rock, it blows your tire. Stuff starts spinning, you lose control because you might have been going a little bit too fast because you felt confident. You know, you're with your girl, you're driving along, you're having this great day looking at these, you know, mountains out here in France. Maybe you stopped at like a, a winery and you did a little tasting and you had like one too many glasses of wine and you're, you're going off to your next one. You don't really know the roads, you don't really know what's going on. All of a sudden you're <laughs> falling down this cliff cars flipping, everything's ejecting out of the car, flying around all over the place, screaming, you, your girl next to you is screaming and just freaking out, oh my goodness, alright, so now we can go back down, so we've got those two, so they're gonna end up, what's this over here, that's to go up, okay, so they're, they're, they're gonna flip and roll down the hill here, and they're gonna end up upside down in the middle of the street, so let me see, there's an impact point here, Berenice crashes into Guillaume's car, which he he might have been alive. He's the one that had the broken neck, right? I'm pretty sure he had the broken neck, so he might have been alive when they landed and then somebody crashed into him and killed him. There's an oil puddle, irrelevant, insufficient clue. Okay, obviously we've got uh, we've got these tire marks here, these skid marks here. Hugo brakes too hard and understeers into the cliff's edge. He ended up very very lucky, that's for sure. So that's four clues there. I'm trying to find, is there a final clue? Hmm. Wondering, I guess a uh, wheel, debris, car debris. Okay. So we're gonna take a look at this and put this in order. So I'm gonna say, um, yellow sedan drives over a large rock and blows a tire. Yame loses control of the car. Sedan falls from the cliff onto the street below. Berenice crashes into the car. And then last but not least, Hugo, who sees this crash in front of him, hits the brakes, brakes too hard, brakes lock up, ABS isn't working, whatever else, he steers off the road. Your boy is a, a detective genius. Ariane Mathieu, when emergency services were finally able to remove Ariane from the car, it was already too late. She died either when the car fell down the hill or when Berenice's car crashed into them. A few days after the accident, she was buried by her family. Whew. The sad music gets me too. Guillaume, while his car was rolling down the hillside, Guillaume hit his roof so hard that he broke his neck and died instantly. At least 
He didn't have to suffer through anything. Berenice, despite losing consciousness, Berenice was not seriously injured during the accident. She was revived shortly after arriving to the hospital and left it two days later. After that, she contacted DuBose and Kaplan families and helped them deal with their grief. They remain close friends to this day. That's really cool. That's awesome. She's a good lady. Oh, that'd be so awful. Hugo Joffrey it took Hugo several hours to recover from the psychological shock that he experienced when his car stopped just at the edge of the cliff. The incident triggered severe acrophobia, a fear of heights, that haunted him for the rest of his life. Fortunately, with the help of a local psychologist, he was able to avoid more dangerous consequences. Man. And, and think about, like, think about Berenice. So she crashed into that upside down car. She's going to go the rest of her life wondering, hey, were they alive? Did I not react fast enough? Did I not hit the brakes fast enough? Could I have, you know, hit the wheel into the cliff and, and you know, hurt my car and, and me maybe a little bit, but potentially save their life? She's going to have those questions rolling through her head. Whew. My goodness, man. This, this is just, this is not, this is not a peachy game. So next up, we have our final case. I know, kind of a short game. I really wish we had more. I'm hoping over time we get some DLC, but uh, we are going to be taking a look at some street racing in Tennessee in 2004. So uh, hope you guys are looking forward to that. Wear your seatbelts, drive safe, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you all later. Peace out.